Good morning and welcome to Jolie Farms. We're here on this wonderful, bright, sunny day in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Those of you who are new to our channel, we hope you're considering uh, subscribing. And if you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. I'm here today with my good friend, Kasia Matlag. Kasia, welcome. Thank you very much. Good to be here on this beautiful, gorgeous day in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Kasia lives here as well. Kasia, um, can you tell us where you're originally from? Uh, I am originally from Poland. I was born and raised in Poland, but majority of my adult and professional life I spent uh, in the United States, mostly in Texas, in East Texas and Dallas Fort Worth area. Fantastic. Kasia, how long have you lived in Vilcabamba? Uh, we've been here for more than eight years. Uh, we moved from Texas uh, in uh, 2014. Wow, fantastic. You've been here much longer than we have. <laughs> yeah. um, so, Kasia, in uh, in the U.S., what did you do for a living? For over 21 years, I've been an insurance broker in health and life and also travel, international travel insurance. Actually, that's how I got into the business, was first with international travel insurance, and then I moved on to health, life, uh, insurance products. Uh, so when we moved here eight years ago, um, at first, it was not required to have health insurance here, but then I think it was like maybe four years ago when the government changed rules, and the rules change in this country every year. Uh, about four years ago, uh, every resident who wants to live here permanently or even uh, temporarily for two years, when you go through your uh, visa process and then getting a national ID card called Cedula, it is required that you will show proof of insurance. So this is when I got interested. I thought, okay, I know the business. Uh, and most of the people coming here are from Canada, uh, US and Europe. Uh, so I uh, started working with uh, first one company and now with um, two more companies um, that uh, offer private health insurance. So that's mm -hmm. how I got put into the business here. I forgot to mention that. I also do a little bit with uh, car and house insurance as well work with two, two large agencies in, in Ecuador. Fantastic. So, Kasia, um, I'm, I'm on the Confia Med plan, and Kasia is my broker. Um, Kasia, can you um, explain to people what's involved with insurance here in Ecuador and what the cost might be and what their options are? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are several options. Uh, uh, I already mentioned that when you start your immigration process here, you'll be required to show proof of insurance. Uh, for that, you can only get uh, private insurance. Um, there are a number of local companies and even U.S. companies who are registered in Ecuador and uh, they are doing business here. Um, besides Confiamed is a typical Ecuadorian company. We also have BMI and Bupa, uh, Best Doctors, and several other companies that work here. Uh, you have a choice of a low deductible plan, which will be more expensive. And they are usually with coverage of 10,000 to 100,000. So it's a lower annual coverage. And we also have quite a few high deductible plans with 5,000 deductible and half a million dollar coverage. So for people who come here and just want to have major medical, you know, catastrophic coverage, the high deductible usually um, is a good, good plan and it meets the requirements and provides 100% coinsurance after deductible with choices of a lot of private hospitals um, all over Ecuador, so it's not a problem. The second option is after you get your cedula, you can enter a national healthcare system called IESS, and that usually costs about probably $80 a month. It's cheaper than private insurance, but you have to consider the limitations of the government uh, system uh, where we live uh, in Loja, uh, there is uh, one hospital, so you are limited to uh, one one place where you can go, and uh, oftentimes you have to wait for for treatment. So if something serious happens, you may have to be on the waiting list for three to six months or longer for something. So that's something to consider with the healthcare system here. Um, also. Sometimes, you know, they are not able to pay and we know they have some financial issues, but it's available. And uh, that's something that people with pre-existing conditions 
consider because uh, private insurance usually gives you 24 months exclusion. So during that time, uh, you know, that condition is not covered. But if you enter the IESS system, you are covered after two months uh, with, with anything. Um, so that's two options. And of course, being self-insured as well, people choose not to get insurance later and just pay for your expenses because a lot of things are not as expensive here as they are in the US, for example. Um, people sometimes ask me, you know, how much does it cost uh, for minor surgery and office visit? Uh, most office visits in Ecuador are 30 to $40 per visit, and usually doctor spends quite a bit of time with you. Um, tests, you know, can run from $100, $200. For example, MRI um, in our area would cost about $250. Uh, minor surgery like appendectomy, hernia, some cyst removal, uh, those surgeries run between $1,500 to $2,000. Uh, with a hospital stay, uh, so it's also you know not not as expensive as uh, we know the prices, for example, in the U.S. Yeah, I I had a tomography on my heart, and uh, I think that was six hundred dollars, and that was the most expensive, expensive I've had. I had a cyst removal, and it was laparoscopic surgery. I spent one night in the hospital, and the total bill was fifteen hundred. Yeah, and you know, you know Doctor Severe did my hernia mm -hmm. surgery. Yeah. It was 1100 okay. one night in the okay. hospital. Right. So I am on the uh, Confiamed um, $5,000 deductible plan, and I did have a 24-month exclusion on my pre-existing condition of the heart. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm off that plan. So I'm free to have a heart attack. <laughs> Better not. Better not. <laughs> Better not. <laughs> so we've been extremely happy with the health system here. We can tell you that, you know, I've had to utilize several aspects of it. Uh, so is my mother-in-law. And it has been uh, extremely good to us. The hospitals that Kasia is uh, mentioning, the private hospitals, are very, very good. Um, have a friend that was um, in uh, San Augustine Hospital yesterday getting an MRI done. The most professional guys you'll yes. you'll ever see. The guys who the technicians are actually doctors, and uh, most of them at, at San Augustine know English, and so they're very, very good at walking you through the procedure. Mm -hmm and uh, very, very satisfied. Yeah, the, generally the healthcare system is much more accessible here and, and people, are, I would say, it's more humanly. <laughs> yes, I mean, usually the care, the, you can get an appointment the same day or the yes. next day. And mm -hmm. um, in our, our labs here, we've got uh, several labs here in Vilcabamba. Uh, you just can walk in and tell them what mm -hmm. kind of blood work you want and they do yeah. it. You don't necessarily right. you don't have, have to have, have doctor's order. orders. Exactly, you don't have to have orders. Yeah. from the doctor and uh, your results are within a few hours in the afternoon they'll send you by email very fast very, very professional fast. Mm -hmm. yeah usually about four hours i've got the results in on my cell phone so there's a few things they have to wait a couple of days on but most things it's like within four hours yes exactly mm -hmm. so kasha um what would you uh recommend for people who are thinking about moving to vilcabamba okay. um Come and stay for a while. Uh, everybody can enter on a three months visa and you can extend it for another three months uh, for about $142, if I remember correctly, right now. So six months, it's a good time to get to know the area, the people, uh, you know, the activities that you might like to do and to, whether you like the weather, whether you like the environment, uh, the lifestyle, the culture. You know, there's a lot of things to consider. Everything is mañana here. So coming from an organized society like, uh, you know, in Europe or United States or Canada, um, sometimes people are surprised when they come here because things are not done the same way we are used to. Uh, we have very to wait more for laid back. Very yeah. laid back. Uh, the quality sometimes it's not the same that, that we know that we have access to. So we have to become more patient, more laid back, and just go, you know, just go with the culture and, and enjoy them each day. Uh, but it's good to stay here for a while and to rent an apartment. It's very inexpensive. You don't have to stay in expensive hotels. Uh, there are plenty of Airbnbs uh, and just privately owned apartments that you can rent per month, from month to month, for one month, two months, three months, um, and just 
get into a new lifestyle, new routine here and uh, get to know the people, uh, buy the local food. We have uh, organic market on Saturdays. So you buy locally grown fruits and vegetables, um, meat, chicken, eggs. You will, you will see the difference in, in the flavor and, and the taste of everything here. And eventually you'll see the difference in your health if you uh, yes. if you stop eating the processed foods that are so popular mm -hmm. in the United States. And yeah, people countries. come and after a few months they, they start losing weight. Uh, they see the difference in, in their health. They feel better. They have more energy. Uh, you know, the sun, we have a sun almost every day of the year. <laughs> Very few days without the sun here. And this is, uh, uh, this is today is going to get quite warm. Mm -hmm. um, it's a clear blue sky today. We'll probably get close to 80 degrees here at our house, which is not the norm. Normally, we're right around 75, but we're going to get a little warmer today. Um, so uh, Kasha is part of a hiking group, and they hike once a week in uh, different areas around Vilcabamba. Kasha, tell us about that. Yeah. Yes, every Tuesday morning at 9, uh, we may meet at one place uh, in, in town, and we choose one of the local trails. Sometimes we hike uh, in our surrounding areas of Vilcabamba. Sometimes we travel by taxi or by bus, 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, there are many local uh, villages surrounding this area with uh, mountain peaks, waterfalls, uh, beautiful, beautiful areas uh, where we just enjoy the nature. We have good exercise and uh, usually for four to six hours we we hike uh, five to six miles on average. And enjoy the scenery. Uh, Kasha is also part of the local bridge club. Yeah, well, there are the different activities. You may think it's a little town. What is happening here? We have lots of restaurants. I think probably by now maybe 30 to 40 restaurants yeah, 30 in, our, 40. in our little town. So there are a variety of foods from, you know, Italian, German, Thai, Chinese, uh, uh, French. We pretty much uh, got it covered. Yes. A uh, majority of different types of food and local Ecuadorian food as well with lots of choices. Uh, there is uh, There are activities that people can choose to get involved, you know, to be volunteer teaching kids English uh, in the Biblioteca para Niños, the, the local library for the kids. And they provide uh, lessons uh, in Spanish, English, I believe, maybe even German now. Um, there is a little private school for the kids. For We are getting more and more families with the children here. Uh, so there is a private school as well uh, for them to attend. A lot of uh, families do homeschooling and uh, the families meet together as well. Uh, there is a Friday afternoon dominoes uh, in one of the restaurants. Um, there are a lot of places with yoga. Uh, people also choose, you know, going on bicycles, going horse riding, um, just sitting by the river, relaxing, uh, just being in the nature. That's what most of us love about this area, that uh, we have access to the beautiful weather and uh, beautiful nature. Abundant little, natural resources yes, here. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's a little paradise. <laughs> and you know, as far as volunteering, there's a, a great organization here called Casa Benestar, and they are midwives. And um, so the ladies here who are having babies, etc., exactly. um, they help out uh, those ladies usually for no cost or low cost at least. Mm -hmm. And so that's a great organization to get involved with. Um, we do have uh, Carol Dennis here who works with uh, uh, hospice essentially. Mm -hmm. There is no hospice in, in Ecuador, Bilkabamba. but Carol started one here mm -hmm. in Vilcabamba, so they help people who are at the end of their lives, and Carol has great information on that as well. We're going to be doing an interview with her coming up. Yeah. Yeah. There are a couple nursing homes, too, one uh, government nursing home and one private nursing home uh, that accepts few people, so that's uh, uh, also an important uh, place in, in our community. We always encourage people to really do their homework and uh, and really decide if this is the place they want to be. And I encourage you that if, if you don't have at least $1,000 a month in income, maybe this isn't the place for you because um, there's no way to make a living here okay. unless you do it online. Um, but if you come here expecting to work or, um, you know, uh, sell things on the street, 
you're, you're displacing Ecuadorians and the locals, and mm -hmm. that's not always appreciated. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, you know, you need to have an income to be here. It doesn't take a whole lot, but it takes a bit. Right. You're yes. going to have to pay yes. for insurance, and you have to have insurance to live here. Um, if you don't, um, you might get asked to leave. So I think it's uh, it's a good thing to do. Well, we thank you so much, Kasha, for being here today. And thank you. If you have thank questions you. for Kasha, we're yes. going to leave her U.S. phone number and also her email in the description box down below. So you'll be able to get in touch with her and ask yes. questions about insurance. And, uh, you know, based on your specific needs, everyone's different. Exactly. So I'll be happy to chat with you over the phone. Uh, you can leave me a message on, on my U.S. phone and I'll be happy to call back. Uh, or just send me an email with, with any questions. Every situation is different and, and people have different questions because they have different needs, uh, especially when it comes to uh, your, your health. And we are here to help. Definitely. Well, we thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. Think about subscribing and you have a blessed day. Okay.